time for us to open ourselves up to creativity, open up ourselves to write and to be able to, to just imagine and just create the world that we want to live in and just be able to even reflect on the world that we currently live in. Um, but we are about to write. So write with me. You ready? Yeah. If you are like me, you've probably been, been in the house for the past couple of days and haven't had the chance to probably go outside or just been staying in your room, watching Netflix or um, doing your homework and just like not being able to enjoy outside. So today's challenge, we are outside. And if you're like me, you probably live in an area where it's a lot of streets um, and the park is probably a walking distance away. And if you just wanna stay in front of your house, feel free to, but if you wanna walk to the park, you're more than welcome to. Um, and so today we're chilling on my porch. So as we're outside and maybe you don't feel like going outside and would rather stay inside, you're more than welcome to. Uh, maybe just have access to a window where you could look outside and see some things um, outside of your room. But today we are going to play a lot with our imagination. Um, so as always, we are going to start this session with breathing. Whew. And this is just a way for us to open up our channels, our creative channels. It's open up, it's a, a space for us to center ourselves um, and to rem remind us to always breathe, especially in a time of uncertainty. In a time where, you know, the world doesn't really know what to do and is really trying to figure it out and is playing it by day by day. And our everyday norm has been disturbed. I think it's really easy to get um, discouraged. It's really easy to be in the unknown. And um, this writing workshop is not to take that away from you. It's not to even compress it, but it's to open all those channels up and using our writing to be able to explore what these thoughts feel like. So let's start off the moment by breathing. It's a bit breezy here and there are a lot of cars. Um, and so uh, we'll just start this moment off by breathing. Cool. So I invite you to have your feet planted on the ground. If there's something in your hands, I suggest that you put it to your side or you put it on your knee or on your thigh. Um, and then the next thing is that um, just kind of either be seated on the floor or if you want to lay down, you're more than welcome to do that as well. So I'm going to start off the session having our feet planted and I invite you to close your eyes if you don't want to close your eyes or more than welcome to keep them open. Um, next thing I want to invite you to do is take your right hand and just kind of feel around your chest area and try to see where your heartbeat is. And once you find your heartbeat, just monitor it with your hand. See if it's going fast or slow. starts to wander, it's okay at this moment. As you are breathing, I want, to, I want you to monitor the noise that's going on around you. No judgment, just take it in. Maybe you hear birds, maybe it's cars or an ambulance. Maybe it's someone talking on the phone. Maybe it's somebody playing or yelling in the other room. Take a second just to hear it with no judgment, with no criticism. Just hear it coming in. And if your mind begins to wander, that's okay. Monitor your chest and how fast it's going up. If there's noise around you,
count of three. I want you to breathe in. And on the count of three, I invite you to hold it in. And then I count to three again, and then we're gonna release it through our mouth. So we're gonna breathe in through our nose and release it through our mouth. One, two, three, breathe in. One, two, three, breathe out. One, two, three, breathe in. One, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. One, two, three, breathe out. And I invite you to breathe in all the things that you know you need in order to accomplish this week. This week thus far, whether good, whether bad, whether stressful, whether exciting. You're going to think about all the things you, that you need um, to finish off the week. So whether that be more patience, more grace, more love, whatever that may be, I invite you to imagine yourself breathing it in. And when I say breathe out, I want you to imagine yourself breathing out the things that has not supported or not um, that has hindered you from showing up as your best self for your own self this week. Um, so whether that be anger, whether that be frustration or jealousy, whatever that may mean to you, imagine yourself breathing out those things um, so that you could complete the week feeling your best self, whatever that may look like. Um, so one, two, three, breathe in the things that you need through your nose. One, two, three, breathe out the things that you don't need. One last time. One, two, three, breathe in. One, two, three, breathe out. I want to revisit um, I am affirmations. So for the next five minutes, I want you to write about all of the things that you believe that you are. So beginning with I am, how can you finish off that statement? I am powerful. I am evolving. I am forever changing. I am learning. I am growing. What are some things that you believe that you are that you're going to write? Are you a ninja? I am a ninja. I don't know. Uh, write down some things. So we're going to take the next five minutes to really sit down and just like vomit all of these things out. Cool? Thank you guys for writing that activity, right? When you think about my people, how do you define your people? Are your people black? Are your people Latinx? Are your people from West Africa? Are your people American? Are your people Spain, from Spain? Write about all of the things that your people are. Are your people full of love? Are your people full of um, power, full of activism? What are your people, right? Just kind of brainstorm. There's no need to have any structure. Just kind of write my people dot 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 and then just kind of like write all of the things that you believe that your people are around the paper so um today's writing activity is inspired by margaret walker uh for my people which is one of my favorite poems um and in the poem she talks about who her people are and where they come from. And I think it's important as we're operating in this time of uncertainty to remember who our people are and where our people come from and also what responsibility it is for us to operate in this world, um, to exist in this world and what that means for us. So I'll just read some of my favorite words. Uh, for my people everywhere singing their slave songs repeatedly. The Dirges and the Ditties and their Blues and their Jubilees, praying their prayers nightly to an unknown God, bending their knees humbly to an unseen power for my people, lending their strength to the years, to the gone years and the now years and the maybe years, washing, ironing, cooking, scrubbing, sewing, mending, hoeing, plowing, 
Plowing, digging, planting, pruning, patching, dragging along, never gaining, never repeating, never knowing and never understanding. For my playmates in the clay and dust and sand of Alabama backyards, playing, baptizing and preaching. For my people walking, blindly spreading joy, losing time, being lazy, sleeping when hungry, shouting when burdened, drinking when hopeless, tied and shackled, entangled amongst ourselves by the unseen creatures who tower over, over us amenacently and laugh. For my people standing, staring, trying to fashion a better way from confusion, from hypo hypocrisy and misunderstanding, trying to fashion a world that will hold all the people, all the faces, all the atoms and ease and their countless generations. Let a new earth arise. Let another world be born. Let a bloody peace be written in the sky. Let a second generation full of courage issue forth. Let a people loving freedom come to growth. Let a beauty full of healing and strength of final clenching be the pulsing in our spirits and our blood. Let the martial song be written. Let the daggers disappear. Let a race of men now rise and take control. So friends, this poem is something that I've been sitting with for a very long time and for at least since the time the pandemic hit and I've been really wondering what it means to create a world that I personally want to live by. Um, Xavier E. Butler asks us that if we want to create, if we want to live in a future that is um, ever expanding, that is fruitful, that is abundant, um, then what does that look like for us now and what is our responsibility now? Um, and maybe tomorrow we'll have the answers and today is just sitting with the question. Maybe it won't come tomorrow. Maybe it's five years from now, five days from now, five weeks from now. Um, what so be it. I want you to write about who your people are and describe them, what they look like with no judgment, with no criticism as always. But who do your people, who are your people? What do they look like? Where do they come from? What do they eat? What do they do? Um, what happens when music is playing? What music is playing? And I challenge you and I write it, uh, to write it. And when you do write it, um, read it to yourself um, in every glory, not in shame, um, but read it and, and read it with pride, read it with power. And if you want to share with me, please, I will attach my email address and I'll also attach the poem as well so that you're able to read it and um, get inspired by it. But um, at this moment, uh, I thank you for um, being involved in this writing session and I'm looking forward to us writing next week. All right, y'all be blessed. Peace.